Rally United Kingdom is the eighth and final round of the Intermediate Championship, and where we will officially be going ahead with making sure that I do my level-headed best to hold on and win the championship. And after looking back on my previous video file, which I have not looked back on now for a few weeks, I figured now was the best time for me to get started with this. So, Rally UK, the eighth and final round of the Intermediate Championship, and where our first two stages are Newcastleton and... Kielder Waters. As we have snow on both of these, but from what I can see at least, everything on the setup should be okay. And I think the only change I'm going to make here is rear bias brakes. Everything else should be okay. And let's begin with stage one. And just before I forget, I will turn on analog mode and I know precisely what setup it is I am running because I have just got back into this. So hopefully this will not be too hard for me to get through, at least in terms of the first two stages that is. But we'll wait and see. <sighs> okay. Let's try and see if that does anything to help me. Ah, that's better. Now... I feel like I can actually drive the car because I have more control over the steering. I feel like I can actually drive the car again. And I'm only two seconds back. Which, in all honesty, to me at the moment, that's actually not too bad. I think it's fair to say, having the soft suspension on this thing, it almost feels like a match made in heaven, almost. because it just feels much more precise for this type of terrain rather than the suspension being stiff and almost uncontrollable when it comes to developing understeer and in all honesty, understeer is a good thing for these types of cars because you can actually dart yourself through the corners. I think it's fair to say at the moment this is helping me out because I'm actually not doing too badly at the moment and nor am I losing too much time to the leaders I'm okay with losing a second per sector as long as I can gain some time back in the following stage or as long as I can at least be good enough for achieving 
a top six result to start with. Realistically, that is my best plausible option heading back into this. So this does help, because I'm not losing too much time and I'm also currently in uh, the top six, which is helping me, which is helping me to at least get something on the board. Okay, I'm losing bits of time at the moment, but I'm not losing enough time to stop me from driving and trying again at the moment. And now I'm up to P4. Can I please get out of the ditch? Well, there goes P4. You know what? I'm alright with that. Considering how everything else in that stage went, I will take P4. Okay, those are your results after stage 1 on this attempt. I doubt this is going to be the official attempt. And I'm currently four tenths ahead of my teammate Carlos Sainz. And the two Subarus are unsurprisingly leading. Oh well. Let's just try and see if we can get to the end of this stage with a top six result. If I can do that, then I think we should be okay. If I can finish inside the top six, then... I can move on to part two, even though I will have to figure out how to win the super special, but I will do internet research to figure that one out, because that's what I do. And I am still going into the walls. Well, at least it's better the well, at least going into side walls is better than going head on into a tree. Even though I still do that anyway. But we'll just have to see how we go. Hopefully, we will do okay from here. Okay. Not losing too much time at the moment. Losing bits of time, but not too much time. Which is okay, for now. And now I've lost a few seconds. Okay, now that's starting to raise some concerns. Okay, I've gained a little bit of time there, but not too much time. And now we are onto the gravel. Which is probably going to be uh, 
my most concerning part because the AI tend to be faster on gravel than me. I think that pretty much proves it. I really wish it was possible for me to just do a more physical setup of the transmission because then I wouldn't have to uh, worry about deceleration as much through some of these corners. Well, I'm staying out of the trees at least, which is uh, one thing I should be relieved for. And I am glad to say that's one thing I'm currently doing well at. Just have to make sure that I do well enough to get something else on the board. But now I'm up to P5, so... I think it's pretty obvious to say at the moment that something is obviously going better than I thought it was going to go. But I think, so far at least, I have set a decent enough time for me to be satisfied. Or at least I did before that happened. You know what? Considering Colin is currently not leading this stage, I will take that. And considering I'm not too far behind Colin in the end of that since I wasn't too far behind Colin in the end of that one, I'll actually take it. So, Piero Liatti won the stage, Yuha Kankanen second, Colin McRae third, myself in, th myself in fourth, followed by Richard Burns, and then it's Carlos Sainz, who is in sixth. And this time, it was Gomez who won stage two in the two-wheel drive class. You know what? That's decent time. I'll go along with that. Okay, so... Looks like I've got no chance of winning, but as long as I finish in 5th or better, that should be enough to give me the title. And at the moment, my teammate Carlos is still running in the points, after only two stages. Looks like the Subarus are clearly going to be the class of the field here, but... As long as... I finish in fifth or better, then on merit, I should have the title. Because, partly because, well, I took a dry tyre gamble in Monte Carlo that did actually pay off, and also because, well, Piero Liatti won Rally Indonesia. So. As long as I can practice for all the other stages, barring the super special, because I think I'll be okay with that. I think we should be okay, in terms of being consistent enough to score the title. I just have to be in P5 or better by the end of the rally. And then, we should have the title. I will also want to win the Super Special as well, because there is another car that needs to be unlocked. But, I'll get round to that at some point. I can also guarantee I'm going to need hours of practice before getting on with the Expert Championship. I think that's pretty much a must at this stage. But anyway, just a little bit further, and then I'll stop recording the replay. Yeah, had I not gone into those shrews, I might have been able to put up something a little better, but unfortunately I didn't. 
Okay, I think we're done now. So that is the end of stages 1 and 2. And my god, do I have a lot of damage on this thing. This is going to be concerning. But at least we know it's going to be dry. So I might be okay with this. But anyway, part one of Rally UK is down, and we still have another two parts to go. On to part two.